You know, watching Phillips bit test videos can be really frustrating. Well, that's because most of the big channels only test the major brands. And the ones that test the less expensive brands tend to drive a thousand screws to prove their point. Well, tonight, let's just do a quick real world test to see how some of the cheaper brands stack up to the big brands. Got a 2x4 clamped to a 4x4. I'm going to be driving 3.5 inch general purpose screws. Let's start with the Milwaukee Shockwave. I've got four 764 diameter pilot holes approximately an inch and a half deep. Getting cam out. Let's try one more. Well, those last two didn't drive very well. They cammed out pretty bad. Let's try one without a pilot hole. Same thing. Let's get those two out of there. Those three. Well, that says the shock wave is not that great. How about Bosch? Again, four 764s pilot holes. new screw real quick. Alright, let's try a couple without the pilot hole. Yeah, the Bosch is pretty good. But how about one of the cheaper ones? This is Hart. 4764's pilot holes. Cam out on that last one. How about a couple of no pilot holes? I'd say the heart did just as well as the Milwaukee or the Bosch. How about Hercules? Pile of hole first.
cover with no pilot hole. Try another one with no pilot hole. Some camo. How about the least expensive of the bunch? Mauer. Pilot hole. No pilot hole. There's the tip of the Milwaukee. Worn down a bit. There's the tip of the Bosch. Not too bad. Still worn down a bit. There's the tip of the heart. Pretty much intact except the black coating. There's the tip of the Hercules. Also intact except the black coating, but we did have more cam out than we did with the heart. There's the tip of the Bauer. Still pretty much intact. There is no coating, so you can't really see it too well. So all in all, I'd say the two cheapest bits did just as well, if not better, compared to the more expensive Bosch in Milwaukee. Hart Bauer, not too bad for your money. Thanks for watching and have a great day.